Hello, I'm Michaela with Girls Who Code, back with step one of part three in the Poetry Remix tutorial. In this step, we'll learn what variables are and why they're useful. We will not be adding code to our poem generator in this step, but we will in the next one. In this step, we are going to be introduced to an important coding concept, variables. A variable is a container for data or information. It has two parts, a name and a value. The name is what we call the variable. The value is the data that the variable is holding, like a number or letter. Let's examine an example of this. In this program, we create or define our variable on line one. The name of the variable is favorite snack. It is set equal to the value chocolate. The next three lines of code will print favorite snack. What do you think will display in the console? When we run our code, chocolate is in the console three times. When we print a variable to the console, it prints the value of the variable, not the variable name. Favorite snack is holding the value chocolate, so that is what is displayed. Let's say our favorite snack is no longer chocolate. We'll erase that and instead type in pretzels. What do you think will happen when I run my code? It displays pretzels in the console three times. We were able to change three lines of code by changing one value. Variables are powerful because we can change the value throughout the program. We'll say it again. The value of a variable can change as the program executes new lines of code. The name will stay the same, but it should always describe what the variable is holding. This is different from variables in math class that don't change. Variables will come in handy in our poem generator so users can change the last word of each verse in the poem. That's it for step one. In the next step, we'll learn what makes a good variable name and create our variables.